end up with the same problem at some point anyway. So sorry if that occurs on a video. It's not a lot I can do about it. It's not a lot I'm willing to do about it either. Aren't we fighting a war? What are we doing? We're bad at fighting wars, I should point that out. It's like a casual, like, reunion. How's everyone doing? How's the family? There's some shoes. It's like Errol has the world's smallest pants. Seriously, they're tiny. Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah. I have something to tell you about your shirt, but whatever. But I I'll go with you. That makes it better. Hope is like Titus. Or Titus. He's kind of retarded. He just doesn't understand how anything works, despite the fact he's lived here. So he just says huh and what a lot. Let's keep it that way, alright? Swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. The, again, point this out. The people like thirty <laughs> feet away. I take care of the kids. Some husband. Dinner's on me. The people thirty feet away have to cover their ears. But the people right next to it are just chatting, as if nothing's happening. Freaking plot holes, man. Plot holes. That doesn't make any sense, game. Why did you do that? Why didn't you actually make it loud and him leave? But no, they had to have their chat about being a husband. Um, and she ran over there. Yeah, whatever. Is there any stuff I can steal? I can talk to these people. You people wear the weirdest clothing. Like, what is what is this? Why do you, Why are you even wearing a shirt? And look at the who who designed the clothing for this? Like to eight-year-old children? No, don't yell at me. Is there anything over here I can take? It doesn't look like it. No. You're the only one yelling, man. I don't. Whatever. We gotta keep calm, everyone. Just everyone's just kind of relaxing. Everyone, stay calm. Don't make me fire my gun wildly in the air. Seriously, it's like eight-year-old children. At least the one on the left looks like something they might wear, but the one on the right, that doesn't even remotely look right. Let's save, after I've mocked the game for like 15 minutes. There's going to be a lot of mocking of the game in this playthrough, so... Kind of brace yourself for that, I suppose. If you haven't already. If you really like this game, this playthrough is not the place you probably want to be. You know what we should do? We should steal this thing we don't know how to fly. I wanna tell him. It's just that uh... I'm gonna grab your wrist awkwardly. And look at the ground. Hey, you know how to fly this? And she's gonna break the subject off. Well done. I think so. Alright. <laughs> In you go. She is literally insane. I think that may have been the point, is just to make her literally insane. And then Hope's just a really awkward dude. If we go in there, that thing could it could make us lassie. This is I don't think I can You can do it. What are you two doing? Here we go! <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have yelled at him. Maybe you could have got a bit closer.
pulse fell sea, it held our future and our fate. Shouldn't say I'm trying to be all serious for the channel, but I'm not responding to the chat as much as I usually do. Most of the time I'm not actually saying names from the chat, but I am somewhat responding to the chat. Like right there, responded to the chat. Didn't actually say any names. It's a lot less than, you know, the actual stream stream where I'm constantly talking to people all the time, but, you know. Plus we're getting interrupted by a billion cutscenes about people I don't care about, which is always great. Awkward position, like 50 feet from the vehicle, but whatever. Just bury your face in there, why don't you hope? There's a lot of grunting in this game. I'll make a weird symbol with my hands. Even soldiers know not to go near the foul sea. You become a pulse, Lissy, and you're finished. What do you mean, finished? Haven't you heard, Miss... Vanille. Huh? My name. And yours? Hope. <laughs> Brushes them off. Thank you. What were we thinking? Well, since we're here, let's look around. Uh... Welcome to the Pulse Fall Sea. Woohoo! The vestige of the lower world, otherwise known as Pulse, and otherwise known as the Fall Sea. Check this out. They literally just gave it the name twice for some reason. Vanille. Where are you? That's not how this works, Vanille. You shouldn't pull things, or break things off, or steal stabs, and dance with them. Well, she is insane. Uh... I think she actually uses that thing like a slingshot, if I recall correctly, which is a bit bizarre. Uh, and he's got, like, a boomerang or something, but whatever. He does get three attacks, though. Or, sorry, she gets three attacks. Uh, she's actually pretty powerful, considering all things. She's actually pretty powerful. So, it's a bit bizarre, but I quite frankly like actually using her more than anyone else so far. B and W Outfitters, one. Is that a store? Did I receive a store from that? Where do you keep a store? Do you have like a store pocket? And yeah, I pretty much just pulled a boomerang out of his bum. Let's not, because you're awkward and uh, creepy. Mm. Also, she has, again, Square Enix has an issue with this, but she has the world's goofiest run. Just females in Square games just have goofy runs for whatever reason. No, but there's treasure over here, so shut up and deal with it. Gil! And let's go goofy run this way. Goofy run! Who actually... Well, she is insane, so I guess she would might... She would might? She may actually run like this, I don't know. I know there's a save point. Chill. The fights here aren't too bad for a while, and then they'll ramp up in difficulty. The game does this a lot, where it's easy at the beginning of a section, and then it becomes much more difficult. I should point out the downside of Vanilla is it takes her forever to actually attack. Because she has to charge three gauges, so... But when she finally does, it hurts quite a bit. Did Yuna run like that? She did, didn't she, actually? Now that you mention that, I think she may have. Not exactly like this, maybe. At least maybe similar. These things, if I recall, are horrible abominations of Satan. They're also easy to ambush, apparently. Which is probably going to make this a lot easier. But if I recall, these things are horrible abominations. You just have attack. That's the only ability she has, is attack. Whatever. 
There we go. Killed them all. Hooray! I don't. I never actually completed Ten Two. I don't think. But I did play quite a lot of it. I didn't think it was actually that bad. Uh, not nearly as bad as people kept making it out to be. Uh, I think Necroscope86 actually did a playthrough of it, but he had no idea what he was doing, and he basically had no desire to figure out what he was doing, so... He did poorly and had issues and all sorts of stuff. I may play through X2 at some point. I should say 10-2, not X2, because that's an entirely separate game. I also need to cough, I think. Maybe, possibly. <coughs> yeah, I needed to cough. Could you tell? I thought she would use this like a slingshot. She actually uses it like a little whip thing, but whatever. And I never 100% really any game anyway, so there's no... There would be no downside of 10-2. I, I don't have any desire to 100% it. I wouldn't 100% it, so... Um... X2 is also probably a, an aircraft, yeah. I'd have to possibly agree with that. How do I get over there? With the weird dancing square things that are apparently guarding an item. All enemies guard areas limited by their fields of view or other means of detections. Upon entering a herpader, 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 a warning icon will appear over the heads of any enemies. With extremely narrow fields of vision, it can easily be approached unnoticed. It is easily, it is all easily advantageous. Oh really? So they have really tiny view radius, radii. Oh no, they saw me literally right as I got to him. You cheating abominations of Satan. And I think Vanille is actually Australian. If she's not, she's she sounds like she maybe. I don't know. Fifteen thousand score. Does this score get like tallied up at some point? I don't remember anything about the score other than the fact that it exists. I don't remember it having any purpose. Iron Bengal, sign me up because they keep giving me equipment, so I may as well give it to people as we go. Especially since it's more health. She is actually. Now that I think about that, she is pretty tanky. So can I put that on him? Yes, because he is a story character. Because he needs more health because he's made of tissue and he's a pile of hot garbage. And we apparently go over here. Why we couldn't just jump that way, but whatever. Game. I don't need your crap. No daydreaming now. Who was daydreaming? Was Hope daydreaming? You're not allowed to daydream, Hope. I wish I had some form of magic at this point in the game, but I don't actually recall when you get magic. I don't think it's anytime soon, though. Oh, great! We staggered the guy who's dead. Fantastic. Hot garbage. I can't remember who says that, that I've actually got that. I think it may be Revocane that I actually got that phrase from now. I keep siphoning phrases from other people, but I think it may be Revocane who says that all the time. And I got a chipped fang. There is an exclamation point over here. Is that like a plot important zone or something? Not so much. She's insane, bro. She doesn't need to be scared. Pulse Falsy and Lissy are bad news. That's why Cocoon kicked them out. Live too close to the Falsy, one way ticket to Pulse. That's the purge in a nutshell. If they catch us here, they'll purge us too. And then. What's your problem? What's my... Pulse is hell on Earth. Mm. Huh? Hugs make everything okay. better. Calm down. Get off me. They don't actually tell you how he gets in here. Did he just crash in through the side as well? Does everyone just crash into the thing for fun? Is that like a pastime?
And is this planet actually called Earth? Because the only thing you actually explore in this planet is Pulse and Cocoon, I think. Most of that being Pulse, obviously. I think so, anyway. That's for. Okay, now we get to play this as this dude and just this dude, which is kind of saddening, but whatever. That is a safe one, which we will actually use, because uh, I don't know if you've heard or not. Uh, I enjoy save points. Hooray! Why are, why are we mentioning MMOs in the chat? I don't I don't understand you people. There's an item. Can I has? I can has. Joyous day. Two potions. Sweet. Is there an item down this way? I'm assuming there's an item down this way. No? There's a mysterious contraption. I'm glad that path exists so I could walk all the way over here. For no reason whatsoever. They didn't even give me any raisins. How dare they? Yeah, this is definitely not 14, this is 13. There is a difference. That main difference being 14's in beta and the servers aren't online and it has an NDA anyway. I shouldn't say it hasn't just, well it does have an NDA, you can show pictures though. You cannot show video yet. And I don't know when the next uh, time the servers will be up, probably next weekend. If I were to guess. Nothing to worry about! How can you be bad with Roman numerals? X is 10, and I is 1. There's an X and three I's, that makes it 14. 13. I said 14. I'm an idiot. Another grenade game, really. Which you nearly missed, but hey, it hit both of them, so we're all good. And he punched to death. Yay! Punching things to death. And more five stars and an item that I skipped through. It lets you like instantly skip through the items that you get, but it doesn't let you instantly skip through the freaking rating system. Which is a bit irritating because I jam on A and then it skips it all. Let's just activate this mysterious device that I don't know what it does. And then stand in the middle and hope it Okay. That doesn't seem safe at all, but whatever. Now loading the nothing. Oh, a cutscene. Oh. oh, we're back to them. Woohoo. Won't budge. Let's hit it with a sword. That'll make the door open. Uh, I think the door is winning. Why didn't I listen? Uh, beg your pardon? It was me. This is my fault. Beg your pardon. You made the door angry. Cover your ears. Huh? Oh, oh last charge? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold, hold on. All right, go for it. Make it happen. I really like him. He's he's the he's the character I like the most, quite I'm frankly. So sorry. Please let me in. Please. Apologize to the door. Makes the door open. Yes. That's how doors work in the future. Hey. Wait. What how'd you open it? She apologized to it. It's a door. Doors have feelings. After you. <laughs> I like the Chocofro guy. He's great. Now that we've beat the door to death, let's apologize to it. And maybe it'll open. Maybe you shouldn't have beat it to death in the first place. Nincompoop. Aerosols. Good heavens. Uh, yeah, those are things we can use that gives us bonuses. 